Right. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start by giving our praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah, Dash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let I came out there, pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai has created us to do, so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called Black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hey, Shalom. It's your brother, Halaki. It's like it's your, it's your brother from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another class lesson. And this time, we was talking before we uh, started up about commanders you know, and how you have different types of commanders, man. You have a commander that's uh that that just sits behind the desk and push papers and just uh do as I say and not as I do, or, or you know, they don't put in the work, but they expect the command soldiers. Then we have the example of a commander that has actually been in the field and and, and done the work and you know gotten that experience. You see, before he tells his soldiers to do anything, man, and that's exactly what Yahweh Shah has done for us. You see, he was in the position that we're in out here, uh, serving the Almighty, pushing forth the gospel, you know, going through uh, trials and tribulations, being persecuted in the flesh, being attacked by demons. And he's going on, he's going through all this, man. And this is why he's the chief of the most highest host in the heavens. And he sent us on our mission to do what? Go out here and be soldiers and push forth this word, man. Do this work. You see? He's not telling us to do anything that he hasn't done, man. He, he isn't telling us to go through anything that he hasn't gone through. You see? And that's what a great leader does, man. They set the example. Somebody hold uh, the author and finish of our faith as well. So let's start with that 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1. I got it. You got it. All right, here's the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong. In the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. And that's what we've been commissioned to do, man. Go out here and be strong in Yahweh Shai and the grace that we've been given to give forth this gospel to the remnant of Israel, man. To give forth this gospel to men who are going to ingest this and come into the full understanding of it and go teach as well. You see, not to give it to someone that's going to take it and hide it in a napkin. And make all the excuses in the world of not of why they want they why why they won't go out and teach or why they won't go on the highways and byways and why they won't do this and why they won't do that. With a hey, Yahweh Shah is looking for men who are going to go out here and labor. You see, like he told us, what the, uh, the 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 work is plenty, but the labor is a few. So we're looking for those men that that are going to do what that that are going to labor and serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You see, you got it right. Verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. And that's what we have to do. That's why we have that instant, instant in season and out of season. You see? Bringing forth this word over and over and over again, man. <clears throat> Enduring hardness, becoming becoming firm in his faith, becoming uh what's the word? Yeah, becoming hard. You see, and doing everything that we have to go through, man. Just like Yahweh Shah has done before us. You see? That's what we that's what we've been set up to do as, as the servants of the Lord, man. We 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 are called into this thing to be soldiers. You see, that's why the most I tell us to do what? Gird up our loins as men. Because hard times are coming. And you have a lot of guys out here uh playing around thinking that this is a game. You see, and, and, and they, they're not prepared for what is about to come down, man. What you holding up? Okay, Hebrews 12. Let's get it. 12 and 2. It says, uh, Hebrews 12, verse 2, it says, Look unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High Power. So you see that? Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, man. He, he's the one that led the way for us, man. He, made, he set the example for us to follow. For what? For the joy that was set before him, man, which is what? The things that the Most High has promised us to bring us into. Immortality, man, up under the second covenant, giving us the kingdom of heaven, which is the entire planet Earth, for us to rule in righteousness. 
these are the things that were said before you, Hawasha, and, and him being our chief example, he led the way on what? Walking this path, man, walking in this straight gate. You see, living uprightly in the wicked world. And we've been called to be the, to do the same thing, man. What's up? Can I read it in the good news translation? Got it. I need you to give one more verse up there. Yes, I was going to. Yeah. Uh, this is Hebrews 12 and 2 in the good news translation. It says, let us keep our, our eyes fixed on Yahweh Shai, um, on whom our faith depends from beginning to end. He did not give up because of the cross. On the contrary, because of the joy that was awaiting for him, he thought nothing of the disgrace of dying on the cross, and he is now seated on the right side of God's throne. And this is why we, we Yahweh Shah is our chief example for us to look to, man. And a lot of these camps out here, they don't do that. They're not following Yahweh Shah's example. They're fo following a carnal example, man. Act acting like niggas in the world. They're chasing clout. They're seeking vain glory. They're moving outside of the spirit of Yahweh Shah. You see, Yahweh Shah didn't go out here and, and, and instigate anything, man. All he did is go out here and, and push forth the word. Because he wasn't looking for any glory in this world, man. You see? his He was looking for the glory that was coming after he had finished his ministry, man, and he, and he accomplished it. This is what we've been set up to, uh, to, to, uh, to be as being called into this thing, man, to follow the example of Yahweh Shah for the joy that's set before us. Because not, not only is Yahweh Shah back in his glory, he's promised to bring us where he is if we what? Do what he's commanded us to do. You see? I was doing that, I know. Get the other one, uh, I'm on. Okay, um, here it is, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. No man that war entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So we're not in the spirit of uh, uh, gathering all these things unto us so as if we're going to be here forever, man. You got guys talking about building homesteads, guys talking about building our, our kingdom in the midst of Esau's kingdom. That's not prophecy, man. You see? We've been called into this thing to push forth this gospel so the minds of the remnant can depart from this place and be prepared to go back to where the most I promised, uh, promised us we're going to rule the earth from, man. We're going to go back into the promised land, the land that was promised unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we're going to rule in righteousness. You see? This is what we're, uh, we're, we're moving toward, you see? This is what we're longing for. So we can't be in the spirit of, of continuing on in Babylon the Great. Yeah, we know persecution is coming, hard times are coming. But for the joy that was set before us, just like it was set before Yahweh Shah, we're willing to endure all that because we know something better is coming, man. You see? That's what I'm at. Um, jump down. Let's put, uh, this is, uh, verse 12. So 2 Timothy 2 and verse 12, it says, If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. And there it is. And you, you ain't even got to say, oh, I deny you, Yahweh Shah. It's how you what? Conduct yourself, man. Your actions. Your actions show that you deny you, Yahweh Shah. So a lot of these cats out here, you got you, you actually have some, oh, we don't have to worship Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is not a point. He's just a regular Israelite. And you got those cats who are moving in the spirit of, oh, hey, it's round two. We're going back out here to get our get back. You see? Or, or continue to call on uh, um, false idols, you know? Yep. Uh, Christ, 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 and never uh, actually speaking out the names of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and teaching those names. That's how you deny Yahweh Shai, man. You see? And that's why what? He's going to deny you. When the time of tribulation is fully upon us, man, the only ones who are going to make it through are those who've been serving Yahweh Shai. That's been moving as Yahweh Shai moved, man. You see? That's it. That was it on that one. What y'all holding over there, Kyle? Uh, I got um three. It's Hebrews 4, verse 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that oh. is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the son of Yahweh, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the filling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are. Yet that's what we say. That's what we say. Mm -hmm. He led the way, man. Everything that we've gone through, Yahweh Shah has gone through it, man. Everything that we're experiencing now, uh, we see 
these these uh, other guys coming up against us. We're the most hated camp on the planet. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we're going to be persecuted. This this is what was going on when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, man. He, he experienced all these same things. He was in the flesh, just like we're in the flesh. He was tempted. Because you think Esau ain't going to come with an offer? You see, some men, hey, he, he, Satan has already come to some men with offers, and they took they taking the bag, man. They failed the mission. I did a sit down on it. I got an email. And it, it gave me an email to our website, and I went to it, and it said the Illuminati. And uh, in the email, they said they would give me, uh, pay off all my bills. They'd give me a prosperous business for 10 years, give me uh, like a million dollars cash, and I would have no problems for like so long. Man, fuck all that. And all that, ain't, that, that ain't even a good offer. You and know all what I'm saying? I contact this one guy, you know, and he would set it up. And, uh, you know, I did a sit down on it about it you know that that came through an email to me and it literally took me to a website that said illuminati something you know so so you have jake not following after the example of yahweh child denying themselves on this side to receive everlasting everything to come man so so jake is spelling the mission was that uh, uh I got that was, you got more on that okay. girl yeah uh verse 16 let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace. Uh, and that word boldly, when you're a soldier and you're in the midst of battle, this is something that um, Yahweh Shai explained in a parable of a neighbor asking for bread from his neighbor that was in the bed. You know, he said, why would he give him bread? Because he didn't stop asking. But when a military, because we were talking about, you know, the military, when you're in battle and you're calling for backup, the Lord's a man of war, so you got to have confidence when you're on that radio calling for help. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're doing in prayer. We're praying for help, for him to encourage us and build us up in the spirit. So ask boldly, like you already received it, you know, in faith. It says that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So, like, if you was in the midst of a battle and you're real soft-spoken in a radio, you know, you're like, you're not going to get the help you need. But if you're determined and you're diligent and you're speaking the correct language that the Lord gave us, the right doctrine, he's going to give you what you need. Um, I got this here. In 2 Timothy 4, verse 1, I charge thee, therefore, before Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be in instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Notice it doesn't say doctrines, it says doctrine. It says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having each itching ears. And they shall turn away the ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things and their afflictions do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. See? That's so we got it. Go ahead, That's brother. That's what we've been commanded to do, and it's, it's a hard life, man, doing this over and over and over and over and over again. No matter how you feel, no matter what the weather is, you have to do this, man. You see? This is the life of a soldier, man, a spiritual so soldier. You see, following your house size example, because, what well, we know that we have work to do, and this is not the time for our rest. But you have a lot of guys out here who, who are thinking that this is the rest. You got guys who don't even go, who are so-called leaders that don't even go into highways and byways anymore, man, showing you that they deny your house shot. Or we ain't got to do that no more. Or they don't go out in the wintertime. It says to be a hey, be instant in season and out of season, man. Year round. Because the sheep have to be fed year round. You see? So, so you get, yo, with, with the correct doctrine, with the proper names. Yeah. I got one. You got Psalms chapter 16, verse 8. I have set the Lord Yahweh always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh shall, my flesh also shall rest in hope. 
for that will not leave my soul in hell, even though thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. So we don't get entangled in this world, you know, with all the corruption that there is, uh, you know, because we want to get out of this place as soon as possible, you know. Right. And uh, going into Yahweh Shai being the four star general, that uh, right there, what he was saying, he was actually prophesying of Yahweh Shai being resurrected. Which even if we die, we're gonna be raised from the dead and given to Yahweh Shai. So there's nothing that we have to fear, not even death. What you got, Shabbat? Khan, just uh, you know, being in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know, we don't, we don't, we want to detach ourselves from this place, you know. So like in Revelation, it says, "Come out of her, my people." So we don't, and then you call, he said, we don't entangle ourselves with this world. So we got to be prepared to, uh, you know, let go of everything on this side. Um, I got a couple. This is Psalms 34 and 10. It says, the, lung, the young lions suffer want and hunger, but those that seek Yahweh lack no good thing. And then going into what uh, Kal Yah was saying about how that email, where he could have got all those things, all those comforts of this side, of this world. Through a, whatever that Illuminati email was dealing with, this is Matthew four. We, you know, we gotta be in that same spirit Yahweh Shai was in. This is Matthew four, and uh, and I'll start at nine, or no, I'm sorry, Matthew four and eight. It says again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Yahweh Shai unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship Yahweh thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. That shows what? Then, Yahweh Shai denied himself because he, he was offered everything. But he denied God. himself because he already knew, according to the Most High's will, that everything already belonged to him, man. So that was that was the joy that was set before him that allowed him to endure all the things that he endured when he was on this earth. So the same thing is being done for us, man. We've been it's been revealed unto us what it's going to be when it's all said and done. You see, and what 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 we have coming, and now we're denying ourselves to receive, you see, co 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 inheritance right with Yahweh Shai in His kingdom, man. You see, we're putting that off, becoming soldiers, hey, hey, living a stoic life, doing this work. In, 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 in hopes of being entered into Yahweh Shai's glory when that time comes, man. You see, and, and it takes a it takes a, a certain level, level of discipline to, to do that, man. And that's why we see we don't see these other camps doing that. They all at the club, tomorrow they prophesying it as the club let out. They all at these fucking protests and rallies in the midst of all this this chaos and confusion going on. Tomorrow they're bringing the word out, man. The most I tell you to do that, he said, going to highways and byways and and, and just preach. A lot of you guys are looking for vain glory because you you don't see the value in waiting or, or, or the, 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 the the delayed gratification of waiting for your Yahweh Shai, man. Because you're trying to get it now because you're still tied to this world. You're entangled with this world, man. You see? You want the glory that comes with being seen in the sight of these wicked-ass people here. Or they not, do it for they, filthy lucre. That you know? too. They're not Yahweh Shai saying, he that is ashamed of me in this wicked and perverse generation, him shall, I, I shall be ashamed of him before my father. So we have no reason to be trying to be tied to this world to try to look good in the eyes of these people, man. Fuck these people. You see? God. And then if I could just say this last verse on this, uh, what yeah. I was reading here. Because, um, you know, when we resist and we, we resist those temptations, well, guess what? Yahweh, he'll, he does this. He'll, verse 11 says, Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So you you see we 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 resist those temptations and then Yahweh is gonna reward us by you know giving us this understanding and give us deeper deeper understanding uh, you know in our craft and and by by staying away from things that you know are, are worldly and things that we don't you know we know that it's not part of this ministry. When you when you uh resist resist those demons that come and plague your mind or plague your flesh, you endure it as a hard a good soldier man. That the angels are coming. And they are there uh, uh, whispering encouraging words into your spirit, man. You see? God. And that's you, the Holy you, you Spirit. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahshai ain't going to just leave us hanging if we're doing the right thing, you know? 
Yep, you 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 been put in a situation where you're being tempted, then you rebuke it in the name of your house shot, and you overcome that trial, man. The angels will come and strengthen you, man. You did the right thing. The spirit, you know what I'm saying? You hear that in the spirit. You did the right thing, man. You know? But that's enduring like a hard soldier, as your house shot's done before us, man. What we got? Uh, I got a uh, second. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Here, here. I got a uh, second edges, chapter 14, verse 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man. Look, Put off it. now the weak nature. Cast away the mortal thoughts, man. Thinking about getting some glory on this side, man. A fucking homestead on this side. We got everlasting homesteads coming. We got planets coming to us, man. This is the joy that I said before us. Hey, first and foremost, we got complete righteousness coming to us. Being fully tied back into our power. That's coming to us. You see? So we put off those mortal thoughts of uh of what about our life on this side, man? We ain't got no life on this side. This is a miserable existence. God. You know what I'm saying? You're able to go to wing stop, you're able to go drink some liquor, fuck on some bitches, so forth and so on. But that still ain't it, man. You see? Now you got Israelites going on these fucking podcasts with these fucking complete reprobate two-thirds. Chasing clout, man. Chasing vain glory. Because they want to be tied up, they want to be a, a tied to this world. They want to, they want the glory of this world, man. They want the glory that, that comes with being worshipped by, by these men and women here. You see? We're not chasing that. That's 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 a part of the uh the weak nature, man. Those are the mortal thoughts. If I go on, if I go on the no jump podcast, our followers can 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 get built up some more, we can get more tired money. Really be balling out. No, oh, that, man, we ain't, in, uh, we ain't in that spirit. What's up? That guy, uh, Fat Boy, he was a YouTube uh, overnight success. Remember, he jumped over the McDonald's counter with his shirt off and eat the cheap double Mac, Big Mac. Yeah. Uh, now, he, bro, he's he just got a domestic violence case because he caught his chick on a video with his wife. I mean, his wife with, the, with his enemy. So he went in there and beat her ass in public. Now, he, he's broke. He's in jail and he lost his woman to his enemy. So all that shit didn't mean nothing, you know? All that fame and all that shit. But at the end of the day, like the most the most we we've been we've been telling you according to prophecy, this place is gonna be destroyed. But a lot of a lot of men are out here as if America's not gonna be touched, man. As if America's just gonna right. continue on forever. That's the spirit they're moving in. They're not moving in the spirit of fear of the Lord. Because if they were, they wouldn't be pushing this bullshit doctrine they're pushing. They wouldn't be uh moving as they're moving, man. They will be following your house out example out of fear, knowing and understanding that great judgment is coming, that this place is going to be destroyed. But we don't see them move that way, man, because they're still tied to this world. They still have those thoughts of mortal men, you see? And they're looking for that vainglory on this side, man. Yes, some more? Now, it says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. You're supposed to be the spirit of hasting them from these times, man. You know, when the, 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 uh, when the C-19 first popped off, you had leaders talking about going and get the juice. Because how, how else you going to work? How else you going to eat? How else you going to do this? You see, those are mortal thoughts, man. They're not fleeing the haste from this time. They're, 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 they're hastening to continue on in this place, man. And that's why they were telling their congregation to go and get that juice. So you can keep that bullshit job. When all you had to do was stand firm in faith, and the most I would have bought you another job, man. See that right there? Let us know that when, when it really goes down, uh, a lot of these people are going to fold under the pressure, man. It's because you haven't been building yourself up the proper way. You haven't been following your house shot example. You haven't you haven't fully come into this thing and, and being fully resolved into what? I got to lose everything to gain your house shot. I'm going to have to say, fuck all this to stand in my faith no matter what. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't gone there yet, man. It's because yeah. you're following these false leaders. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to be in that stone, the cornerstone. When you build a building, you got to make sure, you know, you make it solid and clean so that it, it's stable. And it, like the parable is with uh, there's some men that built their house on sand and there's some men that built their house on stone. Yeah, how we should be in that stone. And if you build your house on sand, you're, you're not going to be able to endure the tribulation that's coming to Jake. Uh, that yep. cornerstone is a, is an important piece because that's that strong base of that foundation, you know. It's, a, it's the most important piece in the house because mm -hmm. without that cornerstone, the house can't stand. And that's what we're telling y'all, man. And like I say, you ain't got to say you deny your house shot, but your actions prove that you do. Because if you were really one of your house shots, man, you wouldn't be out here looking for vengeance or to avenge yourself. You'll be waiting on the Lord like the Most I told us to do. 
knowing and understanding that the time is going to come where we're going to go from fishers to hunters. Oh yeah. That we're gonna we're gonna eventually be the most highest battle acts and weapons of war to do his work here on this earth, man. Just like we're doing the spiritual work now by pushing this word, man. Well, how do we know? Because we're following the example of Yahweh Shah, man. We have to go through this time of suffering. We have to be tried as gold in the fire to be purified. You see? What you holding up? Well, this is wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse one, and it reads, But the souls of the righteous are in the hands of the of the most high power and there shall no torment touch them in the sight of the unwise they seem to die and the departure is taken for misery and that's in the sight of what the faithless man because they're so tied to this word and that, that, that's going to include a lot of these israelites out here man from these other from these other groups you see when it goes down and you really have to stand upon that faith you see as we've been commanded to a lot of them are going to fold like lawn chairs, man. Why? Because they haven't been built up, like like Carl y'all said, on that foundation, which is Yahweh Shai, man. You see? So when it goes down and your faith is tried to the utmost, a lot of them are going to fail the test. You see? Because they, they think that this is the end-all, be-all, because that's they've been following guys who's been pushing that vibration. Instead of following the true men of the Lord who are telling you, this is not the risk. Before we go back to where the Most High promised that we we're going to rule the earth from, we have to go through great trials and tribulations like our Lord Yahweh shot before us, man. You see, we have to be tried to the utmost extent of our faith. But a lot of our people, they, they refuse to, to, to grasp that understanding, man. It says, verse 3, And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but yeah. they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of man, Yet is their hope full of immortality. See, our hope is full of immortality, man, because we're not looking toward anything here in this world, man. We're here for the time being, doing what we got to do, but our life does not revolve around living in Babylon forever, man. You see? Our life is is, is here when Yahweh shot. That's why that's why our thoughts are full of immortality. This is why we we think about things the way we do. This is why we move a certain way, man. It's because we see. What's coming to us? Because the most eyes revealed it up to us. You got it. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. Okay. For the most high power proved them and found them worthy for them for himself. As that's what it is, man. You hear that? Having been a little chastised. Being deprived on this side is just it's just a little chastisement, man. You don't have everything you want. Your body fucked up. You might have a crazy financial situation going on. You, know, you might have a vehicle situation going on. These are all trials to test our faith. You see? Khan, that's uh that's like that reminds me of that a uh, Sirach 2, you know, acceptable acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And just like uh King David when he was uh getting ready to fight Goliath, and he he uh, uh he, re he removed uh Saul's armor. Because he said that armor wasn't proven, you know, but his but his faith was proven. So we gotta uh, be in that spirit. Yep. Verse six: As gold in the furnace had he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. What does it mean by as gold in the furnace, man? That means going through our trials and tribulations. Yahweh Shai had to go through the same thing, man. This is what we're telling you. He's he's not telling us to do something that he's not done. He's not telling us to go somewhere he's not going, man. Like how y'all read earlier, we have a great high priest in the heavens who have been who's been touched with the affirmity of our, our afflictions, man. He knows what we go through in the down here in this flesh in this wicked ass world, surrounded by wicked ass two thirds and the heathen nations, man. Because he had he was a he, he lived that. You see? So this is why we're going through what we're going through, but a lot of these. People who proclaim to be Israelites, they they don't they can't grasp that they can't grasp that concept, man. That we have to suffer as Yahweh Shah suffer. So I tell you what, through through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of the most high. That if we suffer with him, then we'll be made co-heirs with him. That's that's the narrative of entering into Yahweh Shah's glory, having to suffer with him as a soldier, man. You got it. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people 
and their Lord shall reign forever. And that's us coming into your house, shining glory, but only after what? We're tried as gold in the fire, man. You see, and that time is fastly approaching. This man is about to come down having great wrath. You see, and you got Jake out here thinking that they're going to take Esau uh, head up. You see? As if they got some type of power, man. You have no power. You have no fucking standing military. This nigga Esau got fucking nuclear submarines. This man, this man got fi fighter jets, drones, super soldiers. Robot dogs. All type of shit. And Jake really out here thinking that they got a, a fucking little SK or AK, a little Drake or whatever. They think they on some on some gangster shit. Man, you ain't got nothing, man. Yeah, bioweapons. So I'm saying this man got this man can release a fucking plague on your ass and, and, and wipe you out without you knowing what the fuck happened. Yep. You see, this is why we're leaning to playing your house shot and following his example because he's leading us in the right way, man. You see? That was it. Okay. Yeah, you know. And then first uh so is the is the spirit because the I was holding first Samuel chapter 17, and I'm gonna start at verse 32. It says, And David said to Saul. Let no man's heart fail because of him, thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of the mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he had defied the armies of the living power. David said, moreover, the Lord, Yehovah Shimei Shai, that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he would deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and Yehovah Shimei Shai be with thee. And that's the point, man. That's the that's the spirit we have to have, as the brother uh, Shabbai said, man. We have to, you know, be. We can't be fearful, man. Especially in these times that are going to come. Because it, it, it's a, a times of dark, gloomy darkness, man, where we're going to see a lot of death. You know, the, these the, uh, our biggest enemy, Esau Edom, is going to come against us, man. And, and if we're not rooted, you know, ten toes down, firm in the faith, man, we're going to be destroyed. And you can see a lot of these, other, as the brother was talking about, what happened in 2020. A lot of these people, man, you can see that they, they're, they're faithless. Yep. And all it took was for Esau to threaten your job. So imagine when he tell you you can't do shit in society unless you get this MOTB. You know what I'm saying? And kind of just like to lamp it off the brother, all right, David was taken through those trials before he got to the big test, you know, which was, you know, the liar. And the same thing happened to us. The test, the little, you know, the bear and the lion for us was the C19. Yep. So when this MOTB comes along, you're going to pass that test too, Lord Willie. God. What's up, Holy? I got Psalms 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But delight in the, is, I'm sorry, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh, and is and in his law does he meditate day and night. And this is the last one. And he shall be like a tree, Planted by the rivers, which the rivers represent each of the brothers that are of the spirit of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, bringing out these truths. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. Now that ain't talking about earthly wealth. It's talking about becoming more wise and getting more understanding as you go over these things. It says, in uh, that word, it's Selah, and it says at the um, in the outline biblical usage, it says to show experience, so you become more wise through experiencing these hardships. Just like King David, he fought a lion and a bear to protect his family's heritage, because that those lambs, that's the wealth of the family, right? He protected the the wealth of the family. 
by conquering the, the bear and the lion in faith. Also, Goliath. You know, and then I got one more. It says in uh, Matthew 22, and I'm going to start at verse 8. It says, Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the... Was you going to say something about you got a lot of, like the scriptures tell you, uh, many have been called, but few are chosen. All the nation of Israel is called. You see, like the most I tell you, uh, Jacob, who is called by his name, that's all of Israel. But only few. You see, a few, uh, a remnant is chosen, man. You see, uh, a lot of these guys who know the Israelites, they've been called, but the, the way they've been conducting themselves and, and moving and maneuvering in the spirit, bro, is showing that a lot of them not, are not chosen. You know? Right. Like uh, Saul. Saul. He was king. If anybody should have fought him, it would have been. Saul. It should have been the king. Yeah. But not only uh, not, not only was he afraid, but all the Israelites that were there. And that's also, why uh, all of David's brothers were, you know. And King David, though, that's why he was uh pumped up, you know, like what the fuck is wrong with you? And the reason and the reason the other man was in fear because the king was in fear. Yeah. You see, and, and we walking at the Yahweh Shah's example. Yahweh Shah ain't fear, so what, what are we gonna fear for? And he said, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. Yep. To, 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 to be the prime example for us to look towards. So when we're going through what we're going through, we can look at Yahweh Shai and say, hey, my brother did this first, so we can do this. You know what I'm saying? So we can get through this. He you prayed know? first. You know, Matthew 17, I pray for them. And I pray not for the world. Yahweh uh -huh. is praying for us to the Father. Please let him make it, you know. Um, in verse 9, go ye therefore into the highways. And as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. And that marriage is being joined to Yahweh Shai, which we're doing. We're calling the Israelites, but we know only a remnant will hear. Verse 14. For many are called, but a few are chosen. And that's the what I got up. Khan, when I was I was reading the other day, uh Yahweh Shai, when he you know, many are called, but few are chosen. He, Yahweh Shai had a lot of disciples, you know, but he chose the 12, you know, who became the 12 apostles. So, you know, it's all about, that's what we are. We hope for the elect. We hope we're not only called, but also chosen, you know. Yeah. Well, well, I got one more, if you don't mind. You got it. Uh, in Romans 5, verse 1, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of power. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope which is that expected in and the hope make it not ashamed because the love of power is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy spirit, which is given unto us. And that's what we're all hoping for. We're hoping that we get the power to, to actually survive what's coming. You know? And we only get that through the hour of Bashem Yahushai, because there ain't no other power that's going to save, you know, that's been given to man. Got yeah. something? Oh, no, not yet. Go ahead, brother. You got something? Oh, yeah, I got one. What you got? Um, this is book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, starting at verse 20. Matter of fact, man. verse 19. For this is thing worthy if a man for conscience toward the Most High endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it if when ye, buff if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with the Most High. For even hereunto were ye called, because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye shall follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. And that's that's what it is, man. We ain't not, we ain't not, we ain't supposed to be out here acting like we are so big and bad and tough, man. You know, or uh, uh, trying to take things into our own hands or you know, just trying to, you know, trying to be the judges when we're supposed to leave everything up to the most high. We ain't in that spirit, man. We're supposed to be following after Yahweh Shah's example, man. You see? Having no God in our mouth. We're supposed to pre preach the 100% true doctrine. You see, and stand on that and do it 
over and over and over again until the most I bring the ministry to an end. And then we'll move on to that next glory. You see, because it's all been set up in prophecy of how this thing is going to play out. You see, and how it's out, once again, is the chief example for us to follow and not these guys out here who are moving in a, a complete different spirit then the spirit of Yahweh about Shemiah was shot, man. There's more. There's one more. It says, who when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> Break it down. You got it. Yeah, so the Lord was being afflicted, and he didn't do no sin. You know what I'm saying? They're going to do the same thing to us. I mean, you know, on a smaller scale, we're doing the work of the Lord, man, and he's going to come after us. And charge us with all kind of different, you know, uh, hate crimes because we preaching the word, speaking against these heathens and whatnot. Yep. But we're not trying to get our lit bay, man, because we we're gonna commit our lives to the one who judges righteously. So we we understand prophecy, and we know that the Most High has it set up in prophecy for us to get busy when that time comes. Right. See, these other guys don't understand order, man, and this is why you see a lot of these upstarts starting their own things. You see, and it's completely out of order, man. And when you go into the scriptures or follow how the most I had to set up, they're out of order. They don't understand order, man. The most I has prophecy is order. It's supposed to come, it's, uh, everything is coming to pass as the most I said it would. Now we're in a time of prophecy where we're preaching and prophesying week in and week out, making our videos every day. Once that comes to an end through the family of the word, we go on to the next stage of prophecy. That's order. The next stage of prophecy is for, uh, for what? For what? For a standard to be lifted on behalf of the brothers because we're going to be persecuted. Spiritual power comes. Then we get busy. It's order, man. And these guys don't understand it. And this is why they don't want to come up under the apostles and the elders. You see? That's why they don't want to be affiliated with Great Millstone because we're the most in order camp out of all the camps, man. Because we're following the script as the Most High has laid it out for us. Even the, yeah, exactly. If I could say, even the even the prophecies are in order, you know? It's not like one prophecy is going to come before another pro prophecy according to the way it's written. They, even the prophecies come in order. Like, yeah, they're speaking rumors of wars and all of this and that right now in Israel. But we know that that's not going to happen because there's still other prophecy, the main prophecy being that MOTB that has to come through, you know? Even the prophecies are in order. Uh, and then you get, you get to look at the concept, man, that Yahweh Shai came with, you know. Like I said, the, the Lord, Yahweh, he's a perfect judge, man. He's balanced. So if we're suffering for, for, for righteousness sake, he's going to balance that out, man. Uh, you can't try to get your own justice, man. It's not comparable to the justice of Yahweh Shai. God, that's right. What you got? Oh, so long, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a quick one um, because it's happened before, man. If we go back into it, uh, the history, man, we, we know what happens to those who are disobedient and don't stay in order. Um, let me just hit hit the uh, quick verse right here, man. This is uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 41. I'm just going to hit the main point of uh, two verses. It says, then he, he, then he answered and said unto me, we have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight according to all that the Lord our what, God commanded what, us. Look back. This is our first uh, uh, De 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 Deuteronomy one. Go ahead. It says, "And when ye had gir girded up every man his weapons of war, ye were ready to go up into the hill. And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go oh, not hello. up, neither fight, for I am not among you." Lest ye be smitten before your enemies. And you know why? Because they were out of order. They were doing things that, that weren't pleasing unto the sight of the Most High. And a lot of these guys out here, they're doing that same thing, thinking that the Most High is with them. The Most High is not for you getting your get back. The Most High is not for you getting your lick back. The Most High is not for you avenging yourselves, man, or taking matters into your own hands as if you're the judge, the ultimate judge. You see, so a lot of these guys who are out here calling for what? A round two and uh, we're going we gonna to take it to the heathen. The most I ain't with that shit. The most I has laid it out how you're supposed to be moving in these scriptures. And if you're not following that, he's going to allow the enemy to, to have, uh, have mastery over you, man. You see? That's why order is so important. Keep going. Now. It says, verse 43, So I spake unto you, and you would not hear, but rebelled against the commandment 
of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and went presumed, presumed presumptuously, presumptuously, presumptuously up, up into the hill. And but the Amorites, that, which dwelt mean, in the mountain. Hold on. The presumptuously means you presume what you're doing is right, thinking your own, you know, dealing with your own imagination. You're not getting that all understanding. Yeah. It says, and the Amorites, which dwelt in the mountains, came out against you and chased you, and bees do and destroy you in Seir, even unto Hormah. So, so just because you're an Israelite, and you think you're doing the right thing in the sight of the Most High, man. The Most High, hey, he has his men sit, sit up telling you the order you're supposed to be following. You see, just because you're an Israelite and you know you're an Israelite, you're going up against the heathen nations, that does not mean the Most High is with you because we see right here, you had Israel trying to go and fight against Ammon and the Most High gave uh, Ammon the mastery over Israel, man, because what? They were moving in an outer order spirit. This is the same type of shit that's going to be happening here in these last days with you out of order camps out here, man. That are not following the correct procedures that the Most High has laid out. It says, verse 45 And ye returned and wept before Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, but Yahweh Bashim Yahshai would not hearken to your voice nor give ear unto you. Why? It's because you're moving presumptuously, man. You're moving in a spirit that's not on the same frequency as the Most High. You see, you're trying to avenge yourselves. You're trying to do everything the Most High told us not to do. We're supposed to be wise as uh, serpents, harmless as doves, man. We're supposed to be sheep in the midst of wolves. Yes, it's going to be unfair. Yes, you might get hit or spat on. Hey, the Lord Yahweh Shai had to go through that. But he still stayed in the spirit of doing what? Fulfilling the Most High's will. And this is what the true men of the Lord have to endure. And, and when, when we continue to endure that, so when we do endure that, Lord, when we be a part of that number, that's when we'll be taken to that glory to get what? That power. You see, but what? Humiliation is before what? Honor, man. You see? And a lot of these cats don't want to go through that humiliation. They want to seem like they're the biggest, baddest, roughest, toughest, uh, gun-slinging Israelite in the West, man. Like fucking Yosemite Sam. But we're not, we have been called to do that, man. We have we've been called to, to, to go out here and make our body a living sacrifice. On behalf of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. You see? And that co that comes with a, a certain way you have to move. You see? Yeah, we're going to be wrong. Yeah, we're going to be loud upon. Yeah, they're going to assault us and all type of shit they're going to do to us. But they did the same thing to our Lord, man. That's why he went through it first to give us the chief example. Hey, I'm the second most powerful spirit for the most high. I had to go through this. So you think that you're going to, you know, go some other way or do it, do it your own way? No, man. That's not how it works. That's not how it works, man. So you have some more on that. That's probably good. Oh, that's, that's good. good yeah, man. that's it. That's, that's the point because that's the spirit. I've been looking for that story all week, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. You mentioned too much. Kind not because it, it was it was a couple times where it happened. It was that time when they went up against Ammon, and it was another time they went up uh, went up to I. Oh, it, was, it was the same. It was the same, same thing. thing. Moving in a spirit that was out of order, that wasn't it uh, on the same frequency or wavelength with the Most High. And they thought the most high was with them, so they went up anyway. Same shit y'all doing. We're telling you the spirit the most high wants you to be in. You got the apostles and the elders and all the brothers making all these videos telling you what spirit you're supposed to be in. That's counsel from the Lord. And you're doing the complete opposite of what the spirit is telling you to do. God. Out of order. So when it when it goes down and the shit really pop off, the most high is not gonna be with you dudes, man. He's gonna allow these fucking low-level heathen to put the to put the beats on your ass, man. What's up? Let me just get this one. It's uh, verse 46, and they'll finish off the chapter. But it says, So ye avoid in Kadash many days, according unto the days that ye avoid there. So at the end of the day, we got to also understand prophecy. Prophecy is on a time scale of Yahweh Shem Shai. And guess what? Though those fishers are not going to turn into hunters until that time is complete as how many days we have to be uh, fishers, man. Mm -hmm. You can't sit there and jump your hell about Shimmy on Shai's time scale as he has it planned out. Because you're tired of then doing the work. You're all agitated. You, you, you ain't moving in the spirit. You, you feed, you're feeding more into your flesh, and now you're just tired of doing the work. You don't want to go in the house and byways. You just want to go out here and goddamn cause all type of hell and havoc, you see? Because you, you really don't see the benefit in, in pushing the word. 
The most I had, hey, the most I had is this thing set up perfectly, man. All you have to do is follow his order. Follow your Hawashah's example. And then, as we're telling you through the Holy Spirit, we're going to move on to that next glory. And that's when we're going to be able to get our get back, man. It's, it's that simple. We have to go through a time of being humiliated and persecuted and lied upon. You see? Did not Yahweh say they, they're going to say all manner of things falsely for our name's sake? This, this is a part of the process. This is this is what it is, man. God, that's why that chief Ephraim was calling GMS to pull up because he's out of order. You know, vengeance is not ours. It's Yahweh's, you know? That's right. The that's right. out of order. That's right. You see, we have many examples of, uh, of basically Israel, Israel trying to receive vain glory or do something outside of the spirit of the Most High. And it never ends in, in a good way, man. It always ends badly for, for those who are moving in a, in a spirit contrary to the Most High's, man. Doing something the Most High said not to do. You see? Was that it? Yeah. Well, so we can start, we can start closing it down. That, that, the point is being made, man. We, we, we have to follow Yahweh Shah's example. We have to follow what our Lord said, uh, Set up for us to follow, man. He he he's, he basically laid this thing out for us for it to be easier for us to do because he was the first one to do it. You see, so it ain't like we got to come out here and, and figure out a new way of of getting to the kingdom or the new way to walk down the straight gate. Yeah, how was already he's already example. Just follow his example, and it's all about but what, what being subservient unto the Almighty Yahweh. You see, and doing according to His will, man. And then we can come into that glory, and then we can get our vengeance. But not before that time comes, man. God. God. It's like when uh, Yahweh Shai, when Peter mm -hmm. chopped off the Roman soldier's ear with his sword, and Yahweh Shai said, hey, those that live by the sword die by the sword. And that's what this dude, Chief Ephraim, he's trying, to, he's trying to get carnal, you know, when we know this is not the spirit to be in right now, you know? God. I got to step up. You got it. Uh, this is Jeremiah 16, 16, and I'm going to get it in the YLT version, which is Young's literal translation. It says, so I, lo, I am sending for many. Matthew chapter 19, and um, start at verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, he also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. But how we get there? We have to get there by walking the, the proper path, man, walking the straight gate. And it comes with being humiliated. It comes with being hated. It comes with being lied on. It comes with false accusations. And, and, and all, all that shit, man. It comes with us being assaulted and persecuted, spit on. If the, if it comes to that, probably gonna be beat up, jumped or some shit. Now we can't defend ourselves in those situations, but we don't go out here and instigate it, man. But these are all things that come with walking in the straight gate. This, these are all things that we have to endure to be brought into Yahweh Shah's glory, to be upon those thrones with him in the kingdom of heaven, man. And there's no other way around it. There's hey, did not Yahweh Shah say he, he that tried to come up, come up some other way is a is a thief right, right. and a robber, man. This is the way. This is the only way, man. You got it. So it says that ye which have followed me. Followed me. Meaning what? You walk the same path Yahweh Shah walked, or you had to face the same dangers that Yahweh Shah has to face. Once again, he's done this before us. He's the chief, you see, of our nation, right? He's the way back to the most high. We have to follow that same path, man. It's going to be dangerous. It's going to get hectic. You're going to be agitated in the spirit. You see? But we we, we got the prime example, man. Yahweh Shai did it. He did it. And he's going to give us the strength to endure. If if we continue to move in the right spirit, if you're doing it, if you're trying to do it some other way, he ain't going to be with you, man. You see, he's not he's not going to help you. That's more. God. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. And these dudes are trying to be first right now, so they're going to end up coming in last, man. We got to take the low right now so that he can put us up, uh, uh, you know, on high, man, in his time. Yep, yep. 
What you gonna you good? I was looking for one I can't find. What you guys should buy? I, I'm not holding up. Well, I, well, ended on uh, what the brother Kyle was trying to bring out. I don't know what happened. I don't think he's coming back, but we uh, we'll wrap it up on this one, man. This is Jeremiah 16. And 16, it says, Behold, I send for many fishes, saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and they shall fish them. And this is what we're doing now. This is all we've been commanded to do right now. Preach the gospel of reconciliation. Preach the gospel of peace. Preach this gospel of salvation, man. This good news. You see, to the remnant of our people. You see? That's what we're here to do. It says what? And they shall hunt them from every mountain. It's like it. And after, and after what I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain. And from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And that's when we're going to get busy according to the Most High's will, man. He has it already set up in the, in the, in the order of prophecy for it to come to pass where we're going to be able to take vengeance, get vengeance. Where we're going to be able to have some fun down here on the earth when he starts to dish out that power to the men of the Lord. You see, we haven't been set up to just jump outside of the Most High's order and to take vengeance of ourselves, man. That's going to get a lot of people killed. You see? It's all about following this order, man. What's up? I had a quick one. Um, even, even the prosecution, uh, the persecution, and everything that's coming. Uh, this is a, just a quick one. John, uh, uh, seven and thirty. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him because his hour was not yet come. So everything has a time and an hour, man. You know, Yahweh Shimi Al Shai has it set up perfectly, man. Yep. Because even the time and hour for Yahweh Shai to go into jail to prison, hey, all it, the time about the Lord. Yeah, it's all the time about Yahweh. They sought to take him, but they couldn't tell him because his time was not coming because it wasn't according to Most High's will. Yep. So just as that time's coming, where the Esau's going to come in as a flood, it's going to come in at at its perfect time when Yahweh Shimi Al Shai established it, yep. not at the time you want it to come in. Uh, right. Hey, that's 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 the spirit of Judas Iscariot, man. He was trying to force the Most High's hand by turning Yahweh Shah over, as it, because he thought uh, Yahweh Shah was gonna be able to use the power to take down the Roman Empire. No, man, you can't be in that spirit. You have to you have to be subject to the Most High's will and just wait this thing out, man. You see, that's what it is. So that, that's what we're doing, man. So a little willing that was, you know, edifying to those who who, who needed it, so you can have a better understanding of what we're doing, what we have to go through. You know, because this is it. We, there's no other way we have to go through these trials and persecutions and tribulations. There's no other way, man. This is the straight gate. You see, this is the hardest walk that any man has had to take on this earth. You see? So don't let these guys fool you into thinking that vengeance is ours or we're supposed to take matters into our own hands. No. We are supposed to wait upon the Lord and prophecy is going to play out to where we're going to be moved into that next stage of doing what? Getting busy and taking down these healing, man. But until then, all we've been commanded to do is preach the word. That's it. No good. Uh, yeah, just say, hey, be patient. Wait on your Yahweh Shimi Al Shai. Hey, every man that came in has came in at his perfect timing, man. Is it, You ain't coming in late, and we all going to be delivered, Lord willing, at that time when Yahweh Shai appears, man. Yo. Oh, don't make no mistakes, man. Yo. Trust the process. Hey, the Most High is not the author of confusion. Everything is being set up in the order. And it's gonna play out how the most I want to uh, has it play out according to prophecy, man. And so with that, we're gonna end it by giving all praise. All honor, uh, real quick, I will slack you. Real quick, so, I want to bring this out. Um slack you. Just because it came to mind. <clears throat> it's gonna be Revelation 14 and verse 12. Here wow. is the patience of the saints, and patience goes into suffering. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai. And that's all I had. That's, there, there it is, man. Those who are moving in the proper order as the Most High has laid it out. You see? That's what it is. And if you're moving in a, a different type of spirit, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is not dealing with you, man. Pork night period. And so with that, we're going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to...
Yahawa Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, Rekah Kodash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And a sincere piece of salutation to all you hopeful to let I give out there. Pushing his word in our truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai has created us to do. With that, we're going to say Shalom. Wa. Shalom. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba.